Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to update data in MongoDB with Node.js. Okay, let's get started. Uh, in the last video, we've learned how to fetch data from database. Example over here, I will send a get request to the application. It will return shampoo for me over here. So I get data over here. All right, let's go back to code. Okay, let's scroll down. I'm going to create a new route over here. Let me put app dot put so when you update thing you have to use a put or patch method let me comment over here update the product okay and then the url that we need it should be the same url as fetch a single data okay then we put products and then id okay and then we've used async because we have to connect to database so async is really important in this case and then use try catch to handle error okay and then we can print out the error if there is an error we just respond back message error dot message okay next we are going to get id from param yeah, get this id right we destructure this id from request this parameter and dot params okay we get id now the next step we are going to find this id and update it okay let's put con product okay and then put a wait to access to product model and then we find an item by id uh, find by id and update okay over here then we have to put two parameter the first one is id okay and the second one is the data that we want to update we get it from request.body and this data sent from clients the next step we check if product is update or not if it's not update okay not product then we return rest status uh, 404 and then we use JSON message and we put object and message and then we put back tick and we find like we cannot find product cannot find any product with ID we just return the ID this ID this case mean we cannot find a product to update we cannot find any product in database yeah. if the product is updated successfully we are going to uh, respond with status 200 and then JSON will return back the product okay sorry okay save it this should be done okay let's go back to insomnia we can duplicate this one and change this one to update a product form ID and over here we have to send put request instead of get because in our route we specify put for update data let me put body over here let me put JSON over here and then I put object okay and code name I want to change a shampoo to like baby shampoo okay how about if i send to the server it say like products id cannot find put oh i forgot to put backslash over here put backslash and i save it okay let me try it again okay let me send back here hmm why it doesn't update actually shampoo over here should change to baby shampoo okay let me do it again let me send it again Hmm, it's updated right now okay let me change this one back to shampoo and send uh, why is return the own data and let me check over here and if we back to here and we refresh you will see that the data in database has been changed to shampoo but it's returned the own data okay we are going to find product by id again because we want to get the latest information from the database 
okay let me create a con variable over here updated product equal to await and then product dot find by id and we pass id and this one should be updated product okay save it okay let's go back to insomnia and update the data again for example i submit it and for example i change this one to baby shampoo and click on send you see the data updated all right and what is the next step how about if you don't want to use json over here if you want to use like form url encode and you can put name over here and then put shampoo over here let me send here it doesn't update you see uh, how can we solve this one if we want to use form instead of json so you have to set the middleware over here you can set middleware app use and over here you put express dot url encoded and object extended equal to false you save it and then go back to insomnia and if you send it you will see the data updates from baby shampoo to shampoo and you can add more field over here for example i'm going to add field price here is price equal to 10 you will see the price is 10 right now okay this is all about this video if you like this video don't forget to click like subscribe and comment down below